I'm Scylla, and this is Lorenzo. We are doctors looking for a way to combine our passion for medicine with our love for exploration. We picked up our lives and sold all our stuff to start a new adventure. Hit the like and subscribe and let's go. I'm going to eat my two hard boiled eggs, which I flip flop between two hard boiled eggs and then overnight oats as my breakfast of choice. Some days I don't eat breakfast at all depending on how early I need to be there. So on OR days, if I'm in a mood, I'll have breakfast. And if I feel like I have the strength, then I will just skip breakfast and then intermittent fast until like 10 a.m. and eat graham crackers in between cases. Um, which usually gives me more energy during the day, but I never skip tea. Usually I drink matcha, but I also alternate between that and Earl Grey because I have a really big affinity towards Earl Grey. Construction. Just finished in the OR for the day and now going to drop off some folders and grab my things and head home. Just got back from the OR, it's about 6.30. I am going to take some notes for tomorrow's OR and then I will eat dinner and then probably just flop on my couch, either read my book or um, watch a TV show. I wanted to share a little bit about what a cornea and refractive surgeon does in the operating room, what kind of surgeries do we do and why it's obviously the coolest specialty in medicine, certainly in ophthalmology in my opinion, though I am biased. So we do corneal transplants. So eye transplants, not the entire eye, but the cornea, which is the clear surface of the eye. Those can be full thickness, meaning it's the entire cornea, or they can be partial thickness, meaning that we only replace some of it with cells from another deceased donor. These are transplant surgeries, just like any other transplant surgery anywhere else on the body. But the cool thing about the cornea is that the cornea is avascular. So it has something called immune privilege, which essentially just means that you don't need to be on any systemic immunosuppressant therapy, or you don't need to be on lifelong immunosuppression. We give you topical drops to put on the eye and that's it. So these surgeries are really amazing surgeries that can give patients their sight. Um, the second thing that we do and that we always joke about is that none of our cases are standard cases and it really is true. Cornea surgeons are the cataract surgeons that do the most difficult cases. So while regular cataract surgeons will do 99% of cataracts, the really, really difficult cases generally go to a cornea or complex anterior segment surgeon. So most of our cataracts are really complex. Um, we also do refractive surgery, so that's LASIK, PRK, SMILE, and we do a lot of the premium refractive lenses, although comprehensive ophthalmologists can do that as well. So those are our kind of bread and butter surgeries. I think that they're the coolest surgeries in the world, and there's really nothing as peaceful as suturing a corneal transplant, in my opinion. <laughs> 